babe. Oh, this is really Oh my nice. god. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. No way. so much in life that we can be negative about. There's a lot of things that can get us down. Sometimes I get stuck in a spiral. Negative thought after negative thought, but there's also a lot of beauty in life and there's a lot that you can be happy about and grateful for. And we know this, but sometimes it's hard for us to remember because we get weighed down by just day to day. My tip for positivity and optimism would be to celebrate. Celebrate life. Celebrate as much as you can. Celebrate the big and the small things. Like. I think that's important, but that's just me. <laughs> Yannick and I are here. Hello. What's up, lady? How you doing? Oh, okay. It's our one year anniversary of being in California, and yes, we are celebrating it. We made the biggest move of our lives um, a year ago. Exactly this day, we made it to California after our month-long journey of camping across country, selling everything, and moving our entire life to California, and yeah. that's worth celebrating. It's been thriving. Thriving. Gosh, absolutely love it here. Thriving! <laughs> Obsessed with this hotel, by the way, if you're in San Diego and you're looking for a spot to, you know, spend an anniversary or to celebrate, it's giving me North Carolina vibes. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's totally giving me, like, mountain town in North Carolina. It's, it's weird. It's definitely a lodge. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I love the craftsman architecture, the big, thick joinery. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, it's beautifully done. Really nice location, beach, golf course. This is our weekend to kind of, like, not work, even though I'm working right now. <laughs> what do you want? surprised me with a massage and it was really really nice and I feel really relaxed yeah it's nothing like a good spa day now we're gonna pop our champagne and we have to get ready because he made dinner reservations yes he is my friend Ari bought me this engraved champagne bottle that says congrats on 50k when I hit 50k and I told her that I was gonna wait to open it until I hit 100k and I thought that, that was gonna be at the end of this year but we're quite a few months early. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Nothing says celebrate like champagne. Here's the fun part. No, don't, don't. You don't, wanna catch it? Don't point it towards Can we catch it with your teeth? Not point over there. Okay. <laughs> you did that on purpose. <laughs> Never. Congrats, love. <laughs> She's never drank champagne before. So, um, as we're, you know, reflecting and stuff. Yannick had the brilliant idea to um, every single California anniversary, like, write five things that we accomplished this year, like big milestones or achievements, and then five things that we hope to do or hope to accomplish year. in the next year. And it's five because we were married five years when we moved to California. Yep, and we'll do it on this stationary from the place we're staying at, and maybe next year it'll be the stationary at the next place we stay at, so I don't know, might be kind of cool. That'd be really cute, but in like yeah. one year, what if like we don't, we like go camping or something and then we can the, write it we'll back write on the receipt. We'll write on paper mache that we make. No, that's like too involved. Oh. But like. We'll, we'll build papyrus. No, 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 like write we'll, on the we'll back on of a leaf. No. <laughs> Actually, the leaf. <laughs> Riding on a leaf actually would be cool, but no, like we could ride on the back of like some kind of takeout receipt because we, you know? Because we're out. Yeah. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. Yeah, the peace of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown I'm gonna touch up my makeup, which probably not recommended to just put makeup on top of makeup. I should know this because I was in skincare, but we make our own noodles sometimes. 
That's okay. We've got rickety brows right now. Gonna do eye makeup, but we're gonna transform this look into this. And it's gonna be great. I'm gonna start off with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm gonna go in like that. I'm gonna take the Pro Foundation brush from Sephora. It's, it's the 64 Pro Foundation brush. Blend that out. This is what I typically do. Getting ready for dinner, like you've already gotten ready for the day, but you don't wanna like wash your whole face. You wanna make the makeup a little bit more glam for dinner. Now I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever HD Skin uh, Foundation, and I'm actually gonna use this on top. Just take one pump, put this all over, just for a little bit of a heavier coverage. Taking that same Sephora 64 brush and blending that all in. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and make sure this all is nice and blended because I'm seeing some spotting. We're gonna revive these brows because there's obviously they're drawn on, but I wanna make sure that they are lively. I'm gonna take my Anastasia um, angled and spoolie combo brush. We're gonna take the dip brow pomade from Anastasia. A little bit up here and draw some new lines. Just so that it's nice and clean. Pushing them up to make them more natural, that's the technique. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Brow Wiz from Anastasia and we're gonna fill them in a little bit more. Sometimes I just use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and it's fine. Sometimes it's not enough. I usually like to use both whenever I'm doing an all glam makeup look because it just, it looks so good when it's done together. I'm gonna take Tarte Shape Tape a little bit underneath the eye and then we're going to also focus on the chin because of that little pimple there. I'm gonna take my flat shader brush that I got from BH Cosmetics and we're going to kind of take that and work it to clean up the lines underneath the eyebrows, which is essential. For a really nice glam look. Now I'm gonna take that damp beauty blender and go ahead and blend this all out. That tip of putting the concealer over here really helped tighten up the face. It gives the illusion of a more lifted face. I'm gonna go ahead and blend underneath here just so that the lines aren't so harsh because you don't want like a really sharp line right there obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Urban Decay um, blending brush and blend out those lines so it's not so harsh. Also add concealer on my nose, I forgot to do this. That's what differentiates to me a glam look is when you have a really strong contour. Now we're gonna go in with eye makeup and do this really quick. I think I'm, how am I doing on time, babe? Oh, you're, you're, you're fine, it's 6.30. I'm wonderful on time. That's what every girl wants to hear, right? Usually I'm always rushing. Makeup by Mario. This is the Glam, Cro Glam Quads Bronzy Glam Palette out. This is a really good palette. I have dropped it so many times recording my real videos. I'm going to take this color here because I love lighter shades in the corner crease right up in here. And I stop like halfway into the eye. I'm taking that same Urban Decay blending brush. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the darkest color in this palette and I'm going to work that into the outer pieces of my eye. MAC 124, mm, 224, it's close, 224 brush. And I kind of like to do like a little packing motion and then blending out in small circles. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly blend in the crease like this. Not too heavy, just really, really light, just to unify the whole look. Now we're going to go ahead and take that same color that we put on the outer creases. This is the MAC 165 brush. It's one of my favorites. It's a really tiny, flatter shading brush. I'm going to meet it down on the bottom lashes right here. This adds depth to the eye makeup. It adds balance as well because you want to be able to balance out a really heavy look on top so that your eyes are not so plain on the bottom. I mean, I'm getting all technical. Whoa, whoa. I like to do lashes before a liner because one, it makes it easier to cover any mistakes that you make when putting the lashes on. And then two, I feel like it just solidifies the look a lot more after you do your lashes versus the other way around. This is normal. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. These are Ardell Wispies. Why do I have a line on my face? forehead i'm too young for this what i have a line on my forehead <gasps> no it's the beginning of the end no it's the makeup it's the makeup i'm gonna go ahead and take the stilla 
stay all day um, eyeliner. It's it's amazing. The biggest tip that I can give you with applying eyeliner is be confident. Become one with the eyeliner. Yes, because be the eyeliner. Yes, thank you, babe. Hey, hey, hey. I'm dead. But I'm alive. I don't like this lash right here. It's giving me problems. Mascara. L'Oreal Telescopic. Now I'm finishing with the face makeup and I'm gonna do some bronzer. We're gonna do a light contour. Pearl Beauty Core 4 Medium bronzing cream bronzer. I'm gonna take this angled brush from Outlash London and I'm gonna do a contour on my nose with that cream bronzer. I like to button it out and the Outlash London stipple brush and we're gonna go ahead and kind of work the cream blonde bronzer into my cheek. Ooh, that's a lot. It's okay, we'll blend that up. We'll blend it out. This hotel smells like Disney. It literally smells like Disneyland. To blend that out, I'm going to use the Sephora 64 brush. I'm just going to lightly blend that out. This is such a great blending brush. I love to use it as my foundation, but it, it works so good as a blending too. Blush, I'm going to use my favorite Makeup by Mario blush stick in Soft Coral. I'm actually going to blend it out with the BH Cosmetics 125 brush. Highlighter, we're going to use the Becca, um, Smashbox Becca highlighter in the color champagne pop i'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the brow line tip of the nose keep its bow and then i'm going to take my christy cosmetics highlighter brush and work that here this is the relax lip liner from christy cosmetics i don't like to do lip liner very often but if i do it's definitely for a glam look now i'm going to take the christy cosmetics lip stain or lipstick the color is very pigmented and it stays on so long now i'm gonna take my airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury there we go this this setting spray is amazing amazing i i i love it so much now we're just cleaning up makeup fortunately i have my peasant bag that yannick loves to just put everything in here <laughs> I used to be so much more organized when I would travel with makeup, but I got so busy in these past couple years because I got this bag. It's just so easy to like put everything in there and then when I need to take it out. When I was really organized with my makeup and I would like put everything in its place, whenever I would end up doing it, it would get all messed up anyway. So I was like, what's the point? Just put it all together in one bag. What do you think? Oh, I didn't do my hair. Oof. For the hair, we're not doing anything special. I just have it clipped up. I got my hair done professionally by a hairstylist when I did the Vegamore shoot. And the guy that did my hair, he's like super bro. He's in like celebrities and stuff. It was like such an honor to be able to work with him. And he did my curls in a way that I've never, ever been able to accomplish. And I've never had anyone else to be able to do my hair this way. I mean, this is day three hair, and I feel like my hair is still like the first day. He taught me some really cool techniques, so I'm gonna try them out. That looks good. I think I think that looks good. I'm gonna apply some jewelry and put on the rest of my outfit, and then check with you guys. So this is love. Mm. <laughs> We've got this pretty dress from Zara. So comfy. I have shoes from Target. Some thong sandal shoes, super cash. You got your husband. And I got my oh, husband. And we're matching. Unplanned. Unplanned was it matching. Unplanned? I think so. Yeah, it kinda was. Because I didn't know what you were wearing and I just But it works. Or maybe you knew what I was wearing. Maybe I did. Maybe I told you, you hey babe, this? you should wear this and you did. <laughs> back from dinner what is that is that what oh, is that just, gray hair it, no it's just are you getting old baby no you're gonna be an old lady no is that what it is no come here old old, old girl i'm not old that, girl? i'm so young old lady anyway dinner was really good like really really good absolutely fantastic yeah oh sorry i'm cutting you off hold on okay there we go yeah, dinner was so delicious. Like, my mind is blown. Uh, it's very rare. We both said that mm -hmm. 
we come back from a place and it's like, wow, that was amazing. Like every, they, they hit Everything. tens all the way through. So, so good. We did our, what we'd like to accomplish in in the next year for our California anniversary and the five things we have accomplished. Both thought it was incredibly funny. It was wild. That we both said the exact same things, pretty much all It was nine, nine out of 10 of the items were not only the exact same, but they were in the same order. Like number one was number one for both of us. Number two was number two for both of us. Number three was number three, all the way down. All the way down, except for one. There's just one. There was just one thing that we were like both, but it was like still the same, Yeah. but just different ways that we had looked at it. But every, every other one. It, it was, was like, crazy. It was, it was weird. Yeah. I started crying like a baby because I was like, how in the world do we have the exact same goals? I mean, I know it sounds dumb, but like. It's almost like we've been hanging out with each other for the last like seven years or something. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like we're in sync, but something like. like that. Like so in sync. And that just is crazy. And I'm so happy that our goals, like they match up even, even our new stuff and yeah. even what we want to accomplish in the future. There's so much and I'm so excited. That was really precious. I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Always in this outfit. I just love it. It's so comfortable. Wee. High waisted shorts that are like kind of loose with pockets. All about the pockets. All about the pockets. And this hat. I'm always in this hat. <laughs> Every picture I have is with this hat. Let me just take it off. We're making this a beach day. I'm really excited because our favorite beach is in La Jolla. The weather in San Diego is so different because it's. What's that? Sewing kit. Oh, cool. Because like in the mornings, it's super cloudy almost every morning. And then around 11, 10, 11 o'clock, um, it clears up and they call it the marine layer in the morning. So that's why it's like that. I'm really excited to finish reading this book, Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. I've heard so many good things about this book. He also has a workbook, but they didn't have it at Barnes and Nobles when I went. Um, but this is the actual book and it's been revised. I just got through the first part of the book and I'm actually going to start reading it. I finally have the time and I'm so excited. We made it to our favorite beach. Oh yes, it's a busy day. It's so pretty though. Gorgeous. Gonna chill. The taco stand is our favorite place in La Jolla. Unparalleled. And it's everyone else's favorite place too. <laughs> yeah, it takes forever to get through that line. I think it took us an hour. It's always packed. Those are so delicious. We're parked on a hill overlooking the ocean because there was no more bench seats available. So I'll show you what we're looking at mm. well that couple's having their wedding pictures taken so pretty the water was amazing the waves were perfect it was so clear and it usually always is I just always forget because in North Carolina none of the beaches were this clear it's like going to like Miami clear. I was like, why do we even go to Miami? This is so pretty. The it's water like, is so gorgeous. It's like Mexico clear. Mm -hmm. It was a good beach day. Oh yeah. As soon as we were getting ready to leave, there was like cloud coverage. So right now it's like kind of cloudy. So it's not really much of a sunset that we're going to get. That's okay. We like being nosy, seeing what people are doing. We love people watching. This has been an epic weekend mm. getaway, babe. I agree. Thank you guys for joining us on our California anniversary. 
West Coast, West Coast. Let's go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on that bell notification. What does that do? It notifies them every time I post a video. Thank you for watching as always. Love you. Bye.